Oh, sorry, I got cut off on the first video, ladies and gentlemen. This is Master Sykes, and I, this will be part two. I guess I'll do the other one, so in case you missed this first part. And basically, what I did was, <clears throat> we're going to do um, MC4 connector. And um, so, when you first, uh, here, I'll do it with this one. When you when you first get your line, it's going to be like this, right? It'll have a full jacket on there. So you get this and the inside of it, uh, the inside of one of these. Basically, you unscrew this end part and open it up and pull this part of it out. This little rubber jacket it squeezes it down real tight, makes everything all nice and water sealed tight and I like to measure where that little crown is at like I want my the end of my lead to be right there so I measure that and that together and I just hold my thumbnail right there and get my my knife and cut around in a circle and then pull that off and you should have something that looks like that and then you get your lead and you put your thumb over here because you want this to end right there but this part over here we're gonna have to shave down a little bit because this is a 10 this is an 8 gauge not a 10 gauge and that's why I'm doing this video there's plenty of videos on how to do this uh, connection with the right gauge wire which is 10 gauge this is 8 so what we're gonna have to do is trim this down a little bit we can technically just go all the way to here and then put the end of this here and then put this over here but it's not gonna be really watertight so we have that cut um, halfway in between and then get your razor and shave down to that line that you cut and uh, try not to cut past it it should come right off right when you get to it so basically you just go in a circle and cut like this you want to like see if I could show you this way like basically you just want to get your razor stick it halfway in there and see it's kind of hard to do it like that so I'm just gonna do how I know how and you're all gonna have to bear with me and uh, see if I can try to do this where it's in the camera view I don't have a camera person. Um, I am camera one, producer, editor, light man, grip, boom guy, all that shit, you know. Stunt man, all in one, like a Jackie Chan here. So basically, I'm just going to show you what it'll look like in the end. So fast forward, did it all. And we'll just pretend like I did that to that. But we have this cable and it's like too fat to go there. And I don't have any professional crimpers. And even if I did, it wouldn't work. So we're going to have to shave this down a little bit. And so what I'm going to do is basically just cut three of these off. So... I'm going to pull out three of the strands, doesn't matter really what three, and maybe I'll do all three from the same side, and we'll just get the pair of dykes, yes these are called dykes, not diamond head wire cutters. Just kind of trim that without having to cut any of the other stuff. Be careful you don't cut any of the other ones. And so that should be trimmed down a little bit. Get a little little need in those pliers and twist it and then twist it and have twist in the shell. Make a little knot. Okay, now that should slide right on. Okay, now, the, oh, we have a strand. So... That should slide right on. Okay, and it does. So, 
what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of prep the end of this here and I'm going to get my needle nose pliers and I'm going to flip and roll these ends over because I do not have a professional crimper. I am the professional crimper and it's not going to come out as good as a professional crimper. I'm not going to lie to you people. But I will be able to get a good grip lock on there and it doesn't have to be perfect and I'll tell you why because this right here is going to lock on the inside of that and then you'll see what I'm talking about in the end. So if you stick around to the end you'll see what I mean and what I am talking about. And we're going to leave this little gap in between here because that's where that's going to be. Okay. And then I'll get my crimpers and I'm going to kind of just roll that around on one side. Try not to mess it up too much. And kind of smash it in there. Same thing with the other side. And hopefully that's on pretty good. Can't even pull it off. Okay, see? Didn't even need a professional crimpies. Now we're gonna get make sure all this stuff goes on correctly because if we don't then we'll be fucked when we put on this last one. So put this all on correctly. This is very 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 important. Don't mess it up, or you will go to the dungeon. Now, like I said before, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's not perfect all the way around. Right here, we got a little bit about 30 seconds of an inch kind of trimmed down. And we could try to go over with, with this little uh, grippy thingy. Looks like a bunch of hands. Oh, look. I didn't mess up. I just need to shave down a little bit more over here. See, not perfect, and this is all one take, so you have to bear with me, ladies and gentlemen. And we'll see how all this goes together here in a second. So, okay, let's see. Okay, no, that's that's more square. Put the teeth on there, and then put this on there, and make sure it goes in. It fits nice and snugly. Give it a twist. Twist and shout. Okay, come on, come on, come on, baby now. And here's the the truth. Uh, make sure that goes into the grommet. And you should hear it snap. it snap but it sounds like toothpick snapping and I don't have one of those tighten upy thingy majiggies so I use my hand tighten thingy majiggies yeah and if you use your hands as long as there's no gap in between there perfect look at that and that's how you make uh, the end C4 cables and that is on an 8 gauge wire. I hope that helped some of you out. This is Master Size. Try not to break a sweat. Peace out.